Yes, big one. No, not me today. Say that again. Can you hear me and see me? Fantastic, man. Yes, fantastic. So we're going to talk about this whole confidence versus cockiness. Yes, man. Yes, let's get forward. I'm glad you remembered that. Hey, Wayne. Blessings. Hey, you got to show your face, man, because we got we got your <laughs> legend. Let's get into wanted to talk about confidence versus cockiness, man. What, 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 do you, what do you think of that? Confidence versus cockiness. What, what do you think? Let's start with you. Confidence versus cockiness. Yes, man. It's a, it's, a, it's, a very, it's a very thin line, you know. It's a very thin line. Well, it's, it's, good. it's good to be confident. When you're confident, you believe in yourself. Mm. You believe in what, you, what you're trying to put across to people. So you, you're confident. You know, but mm -hmm. cockiness is when you're overdoing it. Yeah, where do you think confidence stops and cockiness begins? Mm, that's a good question, you know. A good question. That's a good question. That's a good one. Yeah, where do I think confidence stops and cockiness begins? <sighs> like I say, cockiness is is. Is overdoing confidence. Yeah? You're overdoing it. Yeah. To an extreme, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're better than anybody else. But, you know what I mean? Tomorrow is not promised to nobody. But we all, we all was baby once. And we have to learn how to walk and talk. Yeah? The biggest man in the biggest bank and the richest having all that money was a baby once. And he have to learn how to walk and talk. And then he gain confidence to do it on his own. Mm. You understand? And then when he gain his, reach his goals and reach what he need to reach, achieve, he begin cockiness. You understand? Yeah. If you can pick sense from nonsense, what I'm saying. But yeah, that's how I, that's how I summarize it all up, you know? Yeah, yeah, I do. What about yeah. you? Tricky one, man. Because obviously I'm obviously I'm not people people assume people assume that obviously I'm a confident person. Like people just tell me. Even even I had to sit down with myself and actually think to myself, like I had to reflect that like, I'm actually a confident person that people say. You know what I mean? Because for me I don't it's not something I I you know you, you know when you don't have something inside you but you can't really it's one of those things, either you have it or you don't, for me personally. But as much as I was confident, I felt I wasn't self-confident. You know, I mean, only recently I've become more self-confident because obviously being, um, obviously when you come to the country, you get, you face a lot of racism and stuff and you start questioning yourself like, yo, like, like, you know, you don't even, like, you know what I mean? When you're in Nigeria or something where everybody's black, you just think this is just how it is. But when you now come to another country where you think, oh, like, yo, I'm actually the only black person here. Like, you know what I mean? Start questioning. And they start throwing some words to you. And even you yourself, you start feeling a bit not confident in yourself. For me, when I, obviously, when I looked at it and I, and I examined it a bit, I think for me personally, how I get my confidence is, for me, results breeds confidence. Okay. If you get results breed confidence, well, cockiness. Uh -huh. so cockiness. Cockiness. Yeah. How do how does how do you stop it from falling? So that cockiness part is, is I think cockiness is more. I think it's, it's more to do with for me personally. I think it's more to do with. Let's say, for example, if you're getting your point across and you don't want to listen to other people, what other people's ideas are, or what other people's, you don't want to take in other people's thing. That you don't want them to just only do you. I think that's where cockiness starts to breed in, actually. Because okay. obviously, you've got to be willing to be open to listening to other people's ideas as well. But I don't just think your ideas is the only way. So, cockiness is a very difficult... Like, for example, now, I'm, I can think of, like, Kobe, for example. Like, Ronaldo, for example. People say he's cocky. He's also confident, but his, people say he's also cocky as well because he feels like he's the best ever. But people say, people say that's what makes him great too because of that cockiness. So it's a, it's a, it's a tricky one to be great. It's a tricky one. 
I think if you go around telling everyone I'm the man, I'm the best, I'm this, I'm that, I'm whatever, then I think that's where cockiness is. But if you if you have that confidence in yourself where wherever you go, people can feel your presence already. You don't need to tell people. I don't tell people that I'm confident, but I think people just with my presence, with the way I carry myself, I people people just assume that I'm a I'm a confident person. Does that make sense? Yeah. So yeah, I don't know, man. It's a, it's a tricky one, man. What do you think? I feel like there, I, I always believe there's a very thin line between confidence and cockiness. Is it hubris and ego, and, or is it hubris and humility? Um, there is this, there is this line because is it what humus? Hubris, hubris. What's hubris? I've never heard of hubris. Uh, it's like um, I'm trying to. Re- I always forget which one is which. I've got, because... I've got Google here. Let me, let me go for what hubris. No, no, it's is hubris. Hubris. Oh, hubris, 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 yeah. hubris. Yeah. Excessive pride or of confidence. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So there's there's a difference between the two, right? I think. You know how you said you have a good confidence, or you don't. I tend to think from from birth, you either water, they either water your confidence, or they make you feel like you don't have it. So you have to. Mm. Then, water it yourself through life and through experiences as you get older so someone like myself who started off having zero confidence right and as i've gotten older i have become more sure of myself in certain things that i know i can do I know i can do it without trying or i can do it on accident do you understand just before you continue so i was just going to quickly add something that obviously i think confidence as well is something that you do without thinking about yeah you just yeah. do it exactly so, yeah go just on. believe when you believe in yourself you know right mm-hmm. so yeah. like what you said some of that belief in yourself comes from when you attempt something and you succeed at yeah. yeah i can do this right you so, got both on it yeah and i think like the cockiness is when you are now showing off with Listen, man, just let me do it. You know I can do it. Let me do it. Because, I've done it more than once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because confidence is 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 not... I, I think confidence is not something you use with your mouth. Confidence shows... In shows. When Actions. Something that you're doing. Even when you don't even know you're good at it. You're just, you're just doing it, right? In, in a way mm-hmm. where they're like... Confidence is an action. They, they can see you and be like, you appear to be confident. That's why you rarely see yourself as a confident individual. People see you based on your actions and the way you speak and the way you hold yourself. Like, for example, whenever I do these with you on a Saturday, the feedback I always get is you look like a natural, like you've been doing this. Mm-hmm. Whereas for me, every time I do it, I'm nervous or I'm mm-hmm. like, I understand. I will be- it's the flow of things. Mm-hmm. Right, so I think cockiness is where you're doing the most, and then you flop because you're not you're not walking in confidence. You're walking in. Look at me, see me, look at me. I want to be. I'm the best. Yeah, and I think when you, I think the lines kind of. My fear is always when I choose to act confident, I get worried. Am I being cocky? Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Like, but you, should, you, as yourself, as an individual, you should be able to work it out whether you're being. No, I, I, don't, I don't think we can work it out. You know, I don't think you're working out. Oh, sorry, Wayne, speak. I know what you're saying, Wayne. Like you should. It's not whether we, whether I'm worried about separating the two because I like if you come from. Let me give you an easy example. If you've never been looked at as an attractive man, right, mm-hmm. and you've been quote unquote called butters all your life, right? And for some and then by life or evolution or choices that you made in life, you have gone through the ugly duckling syndrome where you yeah. started to grow into the way you look, right? Yeah. And now when you started to wear clothes that complement how you complement your physique, uh complement mm. your style, right? And now people start noticing you, right? Now as 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 a general reflex, if you're getting positive feedback by something, you're gonna continue doing it, right? Okay, yeah. but then you then the, the worry the, sometimes the worry I get is 
get a lot of positive feedback. And now she's saying, oh. It's like, bro, you're showing off now. Or is it like, I admire your confidence in yourself? If you've got that confidence in yourself, you don't really care. Like, like me, I play football. And one of the things about me when I play football is my athletic football is my confidence. Because I do a lot of skills and I take people on. I said to myself, the minute I lose, the minute I have to start thinking about how to be a player, that's when I know I need to retire from football. Because it should come naturally to me. But when it comes to the cockiness, I don't think I don't think it's right to be asking people like, am I cocky? Am I, I think it's just do you, you know what I mean? And I think people always talk anyway. You know what I mean? I've got one of my friends, he always says, oh, sometimes I'm a bit cocky and this and that. I'm just a person. I'm a person where even if I know I'm going to lose, I'll say, yeah, I'll put 100 pounds on it. I'm going to win. But for me, it's more of a mentality thing because I'm getting into their head. I'm getting into their head. But to them, they're like, yo, nah, this guy is too... But me, when when I know that I'm good at something, I know I'm good at something. Yeah. Regardless of, regardless of whatever you say, if I know I can do something, I'll tell you I can do something. So whether that's cockiness, whether that's confidence, that's left to be decided. Uh, confidence. Uh? confidence. Confidence. Yeah. 100% that's, confidence. Now that's, that's left to be decided. And also, sorry, that's the final part for me and then someone else can talk. Yeah? I remember yeah. my fourth driving test, I felt. I felt and I should have passed. I know I should have passed. What that happened is, yeah, so on my fourth driving test, I've done everything. I've done everything you can do. Everything. So I didn't even know that I'm sweating. I didn't even know that I'm sweating until the test finished. As I come out of the test, so obviously I put my hands out to the woman like, ah, oh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for passing me. She said I felt. Not going to lie, sweat was dripping on my head. I was, I was angry. like so. And then we got in the car with my driving instructor and it was like, oh, um, you know, you're not angry that you passed. I said, no, because I know myself. Hello. I'm going to pass, but it was a matter of time. Do you understand what I mean? So just that itself, he was a bit shocked. Like, oh, like someone just failed and you're just not, you're not upset, basically. So for me, but well, I have the confidence in myself that I can drive, but maybe it's just not the right time for me to, to pass. So it's just, it's just one of those things, man. Right. I've got a question. I'll see What's so I see the question is now, right? So cockiness can be perceived as a less desirable trait to have, right? Mm -hmm. Confidence is tends to be perceived as an admirable trait to have, right? Or a gift. Some people call it a gift, right? So my question is, can cockiness and confidence exist in the same universe in order to be advantageous or benefit you to the next step? So I'll give you an example, right? Mike Tyson, yeah? He used to have this thing that he used to do when he gets in the ring, right? He'll get in the ring. Everybody knows Mike Tyson's good. Even he knew he was good, right? But he'd get in the ring and he'd stare down the person that he was going to fight right? and never break eye contact, right? And the moment the guy breaks his eye contact, in his mind he says that I found a chink in his armor. He's not going to beat me, right? Muhammad mm -hmm. Ali used to jump around saying, throw like a butterfly, sting like a bee, your hands can't hit what your eyes can't see, yeah? And you do all this talking, right? He was, a com he was a good fighter and he was confident in his skills as a fighter, but he would talk in a very cocky manner, right? And he'd come out on top. So can both traits exist within you and work to your advantage more than it works to your disadvantage? I'm going to reply to um, Amina's comments first. Yeah. Before I reply to your one, Ronaldo is cocky. Messi's confident. I wouldn't say Messi's confident because Messi doesn't seem like a very confident person. What Messi is good at is is good at what he does. And remember what I said: when well, you're good at what you're doing and you know what you're doing, I think that's what brings confidence. When you're confident but you don't get results, I think that's when people start to doubt your confidence. But if you get results in what you're doing, people will be like, yo, you know what? He backs up what he thinks. Do you get what I mean? So, with the, I think the confidence and the cockiness can coexist in a way. 
Because let me let me be honest with you. In this world, whether you like it or not, people don't believe in your ability. I get doubted a lot, actually. I actually get doubted a lot. And what's helped me out is the fact that I have self-confidence in my ability. And that's what's helped me out a lot. Yeah. So with the cockiness, I think for me personally, I think Ronaldo Ronaldo has a leeway to be cocky. Because like I said, he's got results. And because he's not just got results one day, two days, he's got results over a long period of time. So people will be like, you know what? That's what I'm gonna listen. But this is why I said now this is why I say I believe that there's one cannot exist without the other, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is the way you word it that changes it from being cocky to confident, right? It's how you choose to word it, right? And wording, because obviously words are powerful and one has to really open your mouth and talk. Like my dad says, let your brain rule your mouth. Don't let your mouth rule your brain. So just rearranging a sentence turns it from being confident to cocky or the other way around. Like you made a confident statement earlier on when you said, I know myself. That's confidence. Mm -hmm. Right, mm. I'm, I'm CD, uh, my, my CV's up there, right, right, right. so that's like cocky, you exactly. know what I mean? Yeah. It's easy for me. Nobody can mess with my, you know what I mean? So that's cocky, you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that, that's not, that, that one is cocky, mate. Like, I think already we've put it anyway. I think with the confidence, how you portray yourself, or how you carry yourself, I think that will already show people whether you're confident or not, you know what I mean? I think that will obviously whatever you now say afterwards, then that that is where that line of cockiness versus confidence come. I think that's probably the best way because obviously if you if I walk in there and I'm moving with with confidence that yeah, people will know that people will exactly feel that oh yeah this person is confident. But then if now I'm saying that oh, have you take this out? Have you take that out? Have you take that out? Then people will be like oh you know what? Now we know is that is a bit cocky person so probably what you say Next together and, yes. and also as well i, I think Both as together. well is whatever you do i think as well the main part is where you go back yourself yeah. you go back yourself and i think that's even important so this, this is, is so this is where the cockiness should be backed up by your confidence in your ability to complete the the the, the, the trash talking that you're doing mm -hmm. so here's a question for you both hey, you again? Both. yeah let's go I know this is CB's live, but this I'm asking questions today. No, listen, listen, it doesn't matter, man. Anybody can, anybody, whoever comes to be with mind, feel free. Hey, confidence and cockiness can work in business. Yeah. Let's say it can work in your career. Let's say it can even help you get a promotion, right? What about confidence and cockiness when it comes to the affairs of the heart and when dating or trying to find someone who you're into? Yeah. How how do you one balance your confidence and cockiness, right? And two and two, how do you maintain without it having an adverse effect? Because for some reason, on one on one spectrum, women love a guy who's super cocky and just fast mouthed with it, right? On another hand, some women frown, or men, men or women, yeah, frown at that kind of behavior and be like, no, you sound like you're too full of yourself. Mm. In defense, a man will say, or a woman will say, oh, it's because you find me inferior, you're, you, is it you're inferior or you find me intimidating. You can't handle a person like that. You want me to kill me. Yeah. Or an, on another hand, they will say, well, you know, you just don't come across as somebody who is very secure in his ability to provide for you or look out for me, right? So how those two how do those two elements either act as an advantageous thing in the in the game of dating or a detrimental thing in the game of dating? Uh wow, well, I knew this guy was gonna go there. I see <laughs> I knew it was gonna I knew it was gonna go there. The only reason why I go there is because when I think about these things, confidence in the workplaces is not hard. You've been job enough times. You build confidence. And everybody yeah. jumps repetition at the end of the day, right? Everybody jumps repetition, right? So confidence comes through repetition and consistency, right? So we know that, okay? Cockiness is instilled in our nature. You're good at it on the football pitch, moving like, you know, Ronaldinho, you're cocky with it. 
You know, nobody use cocky and confidence blends in the dating world, though. It is a very different thing. Do you understand? What I say, is it that different, though? Because obviously, we just we assume it's different. Because because for me, obviously, if if I'm gonna go back to my obviously CV, though, dating is like is like you sending your CV basically, basically sending your CV. That's what you're doing, and then it's like, like a job interview basically. Right. But obviously, not in that literal sense. Yeah, but it technically is. It's a case where I feel if you've got confidence in yourself and other person also have confidence in themselves as well. Obviously, they don't have to have as much level of confidence in themselves as you do, but it's a balance. I think when obviously the girl doesn't have or the guy doesn't have a close or that level of confidence in himself or whatever that is. Obviously, that's when he starts thinking, you know what, this guy's doing a bit too much. I don't know, when it comes to the girls, man, they're very contradictory anyway. They're very contradictory. They'll say they, they want guy that is confident. They get a confident guy, they complain. Oh, the guy is too confident. He's too cocky. He's too this. Then the guy waters it down, they complain again. They say, oh, so to be honest with you, like you already said already, we've said many times, look, be yourself. If she likes you the way you are, cool. If she doesn't like you the way you are, <laughs> Try someone different, man. Because you can't like, win. You can't win. As a mature guy, and you're gonna go on a first date, you're mature, so you you got experience, and you meet other woman before, and you know what you're looking for exactly, and you do, mm. you're not looking for like a, a one night stand. So when you meet the person for the first time on a first date, you're gonna be looking for confidence from that female character. Yeah, you're gonna look for confidence. You're gonna look for. You're not gonna look for no arrogance or no cockiness from her, and you're not gonna give it to her. You're gonna mm. give her confidence. So that's how I see. You're gonna give her confidence. And that's what she's gonna look for. She don't want a, a shy guy, a guy that don't know how to speak, how to put himself, how to sell himself, basically to her. I think confidence in the dating game is. From personal experience, I tend to I tend to say, look, I know what I'm good at and I know what I'm willing to try at. A lot of people make assumptions already on how you look, right? Yeah. This is a confident looking guy. Probably have no idea that sometimes I'm nervous inside trying to fumble, trying to trying to arrange my words. Right? However, I will always say, listen, man, this whole getting to know you, see me, um, what do you call it, interview thing, sometimes can feel a bit long. But I guarantee when me and you get to know each other, I know what I'm comfortable. I know what I'm good at. And I know for a fact that this is how you're going to feel. This is not being, me being headed. It's just me knowing from experience that I, I'm... Exactly. I understand. Exactly. What a good history of being this guy or being that, right? All the other stuff, the glitz and the glam and the shine, shine, you know, I could talk about that all day long, but it doesn't really... What's it going to do for you? You know but I mean? it's up to her if she want to give you the job. You you know what I mean? It's up to her if she like your CV. It's up to her if you represent yourself properly. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you come with a good confidence, then it's up to her if she want to give you the job or not. The energy. You come with but energy. if you come too cocky, then she's going to like run you away. Yeah. Mm. She'll be able to see behind the facade that you're trying to build this image that you're trying yeah. to with this this cocky like behavior and this yeah all zealous over overconfident yeah overconfident man once you go there once you once you know you're gonna go to the interview to sit down there in front of someone you can't be playing games you gotta be straight and and speak your mind and it's up to her if she's gonna give you the job or not yeah you understand? You gotta come confident you got to come with something that she's looking for and the energy got to flow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think you have to have, you have to be able to have the ability to read the room. Do you understand? Like I am Definitely. I'm more like like as you said, I'm more for equal energy exchange, which means Yeah. You lead with your level of cockiness and then I'll retell them at the same level as you. What do you guys feel on this one? How do you guys feel if the girl is too cocky or so? Just going to throw me off, man. Throw me off. Push me off, isn't it? No, no, I like I like someone that's confident. You know, what I mean, I like a girl that's confident in her ability. Confidence is the okay, but I mean, cockiness is is different. I think women women have a certain nature. Like cockiness within a woman, 
is the, is the kind of woman if I'm going to meet someone and they're like looking at the phone and touching up the hair and exactly. looking exactly. if they look good and you know what I mean? And oh, yeah. thinking that, yeah, that's the kind of thing I'm that. Bulkiness for, for guys and girls is obviously if you always every minute you want to take a picture and you want a good looking yeah, yeah. to yeah yeah that's too much yeah that's that's crushiness no woman and you you gotta got more class bring something to the table I remember a woman I once spoke to online right and she said all I ever do is attract that man. that was her statement to me so she was like I knew you would talk to me eventually right now to me that is a very bold statement john and, and, and i'd say oh you're very what's the word i'm looking for i said oh, you're very i said you're very confident aren't you you're very sure of yourself that that's the case but you know what i mean don't worry about it i'll see i'll speak to you another time and they were like why are you being that way i said because i'm not talking to, i don't like that kind of behavior do you know what i mean because that's arrogant do you know what i mean that is an arrogant state all these all these words man they're all just intertwining with you know, all of them so we've not we've added arrogance into it as well now in that case of that girl that said uh i knew you would talk to me eventually yeah i i, I would say she's confident in herself the reason is because she's got confidence she's got results the results from before has given her that, that has allowed her to be able to come up with that kind of conclusion so i was sent to what's going on bro what do you think of this uh Confidence versus cockiness. When do you not jump into cockiness if you're confident? Oof. Um, it's 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 a question that somebody asked, but sort of said the other day. It's like, is greed good? It's is 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 ego, ego good? But if you if you look at the world that we live in, right? I know most is, is, uh, most are practicing through their godly lane, right, or their godly mm. self. Mm. But I think majority of the time, it is that confident or that uh, ego that bursts through. Like, so I, as what they say. That cheap, that cheeky chap, that cheeky chap, right? Or that cockiness. Depending on how it's um, it's exercised, it can come across very. It can break through, but it's a fine line. Confidence has never been a positive word ever. That's because we see cockiness as a negative light. Yeah. That's because we see the same way. I'm trying to to make a point that we also see greed as a negative light. If you look, greed itself is not a bad thing. Is when you're too greedy, that's when it becomes a problem. Cockiness is also not a bad thing at some point. No. It's just when you are too, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. That's or, that's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Then that's when it becomes a problem. Example is this. Example is this, right? So you've got an important, junk, an important job or something that you have to mm. go and uh, and try to achieve to sort of further your, your life better your situation would you go in there fully well knowing that if i go in there in my godly lane and tell all the truth or would you tell a little white lie to get that so that little white lie is that ego and it's that same time could be the confidence because obviously what's ahead of you it's important. It's gonna make. It's gonna change a situation for you and many people. So being confident that way, it's not a bad shout. But you can go in a pub. You're in a pub. You've had a few drinks, and you're like, "Yeah, I'm the man tonight. I can take over everybody." You feel me? I think that is a terrible confidence. You can have his positive and his negative. Though the word don't stand for. The thing this is as well is because of where we're from, we've been taught that we have to be humble in every situation. Do you understand what I mean? We see these things as bad. And there's a reason why it's in a dictionary. It's in a dictionary for a reason. Obviously there's a negative connotation that's attached to it, but what I'm saying with this is there's not it's not always a bad thing. 
you know what I mean? It's not always a bad thing, but just don't be too cocky to the point where you're basically, if you're in a relationship, for example, you're basically neglecting the other person. This kind of brings it back full circle to just when we started this conversation to how perception, um, how we choose to perceive an action, a mindset, a trait, and what works for us. Because like I said, in the dating game, I've, I've read profiles where with some women like a guy who's cocky, um, and some women, most women, from what we've seen as well in the comments, admire confidence in 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 in, in an individual. And we as men, we we like confidence in a woman. We like a woman to be a bit cheeky, a bit playful, but we admire self confidence and confidence in their ability and the way they look. Because as the world moves right now, the world is finding many many ways to make us doubt or second guess our ability to get anything, even at the way we style our hair, talk less of what we do for a living. So I believe that confidence and cockiness, they live in the same world. I think it's a balance of both because in a, in a, game, in a game of sports, an element of cockiness to intimidate your opponent mm -hmm. and your confidence in your ability to play and you know come out on top, they work hand in hand like a one-two combo, but especially in the ring, me being an ex-boxer, I get that, right? In the, in the world of dating, I think um the confidence of a man in his ability to to provide and be what she believes she needs him to be or who he just is in person um goes a long way then every now and then you can be cocky in a playful manner rather than being cocky in a hey man i'm better than you or Psh, <laughs> you should feel lucky to even be with me in the first place i think that's where the arrogance side bleeds in more and mm -hmm. You know, like I said, I've struggled all, all the time in as I've grown. Like I, I always said, it's the closer I get to that to 40, the more I become more happy and confident in myself and my abilities and the way that I look, and the way that I feel about myself and what I know I'm capable of or what I know I'm not capable of. And sometimes I will be a bit of a bigot and be like, Psh, listen, have you seen me lately? Like if you saw my life with my kids, you know, we were laughing when well, my kids were like, dad, a lot of women are coming into your life. And I was like, Psh, I mean, look, I'm a handsome guy. I jump, <laughs> so you're going to be, you're, you're, you, this is what you're going to have to fall into. Do you know, mm. a lot of people will be calling that, oh, he's pretty cocky, he's pretty sure of himself. Do you know what I mean? So we we can play, you know, you can, you, you can, you will find yourself stepping foot in both worlds. I just think it's how quickly you catch yourself when you step in a world of being over cocky and over um, zealous in your behavior and your mannerisms and how you humble yourself and really be true to who you really are. And if you're naturally a cocky guy, then you're naturally a cocky guy, you know, it's your choice if you want to tame it and evolve on a different level or if you just want to continue working this way because that's what works for you do you know what i mean just likes the whole thing actually mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. no i don't even have anything to say i think he's nah. yeah. so he said it all mate because <laughs> he said it all man it's a beautiful thing to sort of know thyself me personally that's one of the most important mm -hmm. things that i actually I actually sort of live by because all of these things here can be managed and you need these things to negotiate the situations that we've been put in. Yeah. So when to turn it on and when to turn it off, like the example that you used, that was a perfect thing because you need to be a beacon in your family. So if your daughter sort of said that, that is to sort of show that, yeah, of course your daddy's cool. You understand? That's going to, you know, that makes your daughter up, look up to the dad. So it's, it's how we use it and, and and like you said, some people get up every day and that is how they have to, possibly a facade that they have to put on to sort of make the world see them as that, which yeah. is not a bad thing too, because that's their, that, that, that is their coping mechanism. Yeah, if, that's if you they choose to wear. That's what I'm saying. So I think, uh, uh, know thyself, me personally, that's what the, the bottom line of it is. And know how to sort of balance your whole situation.